What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is part, what, seven of my guitar build. Uh, you just saw me cutting out the X braces. I've got some stock of brace wood here. It's all spruce. This was one piece. I had another piece just like this, which I cut. And out of that, I got this X brace. So this is double wide. I will have to cut this down the middle to make both of them. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and spend some time doing some shaping on them, pre-scalloping and stuff like that, so that they can be uniform once I cut them in half. So one of the things I already found I was doing wrong was, I guess when I was sanding, I was pushing more on my left, on my thumb than I was on my fingers. So when I picked it up the first time, I, I realized <laughs> I had sanded up basically a slope into it, so it was thicker on this side than this side. So once I got it even back out, what I did was I would go a little ways like this for a few seconds, and then I would switch it around like this. So that kind of helped me even it out and keep the same thickness all the way across. So that's just one thing I've run into so far. Here are the two X braces. I've cut them out. What I did was I took some time to make a template of what the X braces will look like. And I basically traced that on here. And then I pre-cut them, cut those uh, lines out. So it's real rough on the X brace. And then I cut the X brace in half. So I can see what I'm at. And I know what I need to get down to, so I've got to take some off of it. But that's good because it's rough cut on both sides. So now I can take the plane and plane down both sides. So I'm going to keep doing that. And then when I get done, I will come back to you. Okay, so let me show you where I'm at. You can see, check it out, I've got the X-Brace made. I've got it flush here, and you can see it's a lab joint. I figured out where it needs to go, then I used the hacksaw to cut, because the hacksaw's got a really thin blade. And while I was working on this, I had to make sure that I had the right angle, and I had to kind of adjust it a little bit. And that's about as good as I can get it. I mean, it lines up on all the lines. I may have to tweak it just a tad bit open right here, barely. So the next step is actually to glue the X brace in. I can't believe I'm at that spot already, but that's where I'm at. So, but first I need to kind of radius the bottom of these again, just to make sure they're flat. I'm going to glue the right one in first and then glue the left one. There you go, that's how you dent the top of the braces. Didn't mean to do that. Well, this is tight, I mean, for some reason, I guess it started to swell too much. It's not seated all the way. I got glue, well, I got glue squeeze out, so maybe I just, just needed that clamp on there. I don't know what I was thinking. Just wailing on that thing, trying to get it to seat. So let me get a hammer and wail on it. Maybe that'll fix it. Oh. And there you go. Got the X brace done. So the rest of the braces, since you've already seen a lot of me just cutting wood out, I went ahead and cut them out. So. I've got them all here in rough shape. I've got the upper transverse bar, the tone bars, the finger braces, and the tongue depressor. I guess that's what it's called. It goes above the upper transverse bar. So those are all rough shapes, so I need to um, clean those up and get them glued on. I'm going to be doing that next. OK, 
Got all the front or the soundboard bracing done. Uh, the last shot you saw was the uh, sound hole bracing being put in. So really not as difficult as I thought it would be. Just uh, having to cut them out and stuff. Probably took the longest, but gluing them in wasn't so bad. Cleaning up the glue squeeze out, you know, that's not very fun, but got all the bracing done. So what's left is the bridge patch. And that's some Indian rosewood. So what I did was I took my plans, I took a piece of paper, I tr tried to trace out the sound or uh, the, the bridge patch, cut it out into this piece of paper, and I traced it onto a piece of plywood, and I cut it out. So this will be what I use in the future for a template for my bridge patch. So it'll be easier for me to just have this, trace it out, and I'm ready to go. I don't have to do any kind of tracing or anything like that. But this doesn't exactly match up perfectly, so I do need to do some shaping on it, cleaning up the edges. Uh, making the uh, line straight at which point I can then transfer it to the bridge patch so this would be good to have for the future um, especially if I'm building another you know X brace style guitar this should work for that kind of guitar so now I've got to clean this up and then um, I'll get back to you when I'm ready to cut it out the template is done all I had was a file a disc sander would be very helpful about now, but I uh, just don't have one. So it took a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I just was able to file it down until it fit into the, the diagram. So now the first thing I need to do is thin this down to where it needs to be. Just when I thought I was done doing any major thicknessing with a card scraper. Oh my goodness. It's going to take a little while, but I've got to take probably about 0.7 millimeters off of this thing. There, we'll get that on the bandsaw. All right, and it obviously does not fit. So it's just, I guess because my X brace doesn't perfectly match the X brace on the plans. But that's okay, at least I'm in the ballpark. But I'm gonna have to spend some time on this, so let me do that and I'll come back to you when I'm done. All right, check it out. Didn't really take too long. I used this file and uh, I've sanded it and it's, Fitting pretty good. I've got the measurement for the bridge pins, which is right about the middle. So I'm ready to glue it in. It's been a couple of hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these off. Working on the voicing now, uh, uh, the X brace, I started tapering the edges of this. I tapered this one, the transverse brace, I rounded it over. I started working on the scalloping of the X brace, so um, I've still got a ways to go. I've got two whole other videos to watch on finishing the voicing. So the first video, he's got three whole videos on voicing, so it's really in depth, uh, shows you what to do. Uh, the first one was like 17 minutes. I've got two more videos that about that same length to finish up. So I'm trying to get down to a, a certain tone or I guess uh, shape of the sound like he kind of describes in his video. So still got a ways to go and finish up. I think that I'm done with the voicing and shaping the uh, braces at least as much as I know at this point what to do. It's probably going to take some time to become really, I guess, good at doing this. But as far as I know what to do for right now, I've done it. So now I'm sanding the braces. And I've got to sand the whole inside of this uh, soundboard. Starting with 150 and I'll work my way up to 220. 
So now I'm going to actually attach the top and close the box. This is very exciting. So I'm going to be doing a lot of the same stuff you already saw me do for the back. So I'm not going to go into depth. I'm just going to have an overview of what I'm doing here. Um, but if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm doing exactly the same thing I did as in the back video. I don't feel like there's a ne it's necessary to repeat it. I'm going to go ahead and get this attached where it needs to be. Mark where the braces are and then uh, make some notches and then I'll be ready to glue it on. Well, I can't believe it, but it's actually time to close the box. I'm very, very nervous. Got all the notches done. Took a while, took quite a while to get them all fitting perfectly. Uh, I got the top here, I signed the inside here. I don't have any kind of labels or anything, so I just put like a printer label on the inside. <laughs> I'll have to get something made before I do another guitar, but this is my own personal guitar, so. All right, so I think I'm ready to go. I've got everything I need, I believe. So let's get the glue on and do it to it. All right, let me get the rest of these uh, go bars on here and I'll catch up with you. All right, that was a little bit hectic. Looks like I didn't have the go bar, the deck, the bottom of it high enough. Started flexing on the top, which caused some of the go bars to come loose. So you can see what I did. I added a bunch of uh, calls and stuff below it. <laughs> well, pieces of wood that I've been using as calls. And for the back, some reason, it wasn't coming all the way tight against the tail block. So I had to pull the go bar deck off of the cabin a little bit so that I can get some clamps on there so overall didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped but at least it's in glue and drying so we'll see how it turns out hopefully okay the moment of truth it's been two and a half almost three hours I've been nervous that I didn't use enough glue everything has gone through my head I didn't use enough glue I didn't clamp it well enough all kinds of things so one way to find out Golly, <laughs> dang it. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's cool stuff. Very cool. So, the last thing to do is to trim the edges with a router, which is scary too. So, take care of it. All right, here goes nothing. I'll have to lower the bit a little bit. I <laughs> left this little brace. Let me do that. All right, try again. All right. See how it looks. Nice. Looks pretty good, huh? Sweet. So now I gotta do the top. Cannot believe it. Just cannot believe it. I don't know what it is, but there's something pretty cool about this. Well, I do know what it is. It's this. I cannot believe it. Can you believe it? I've actually closed the box and it looks pretty good, except for the, some of the fuzzies they have up here from the router bit, I guess. It, nothing chipped out. It looks pretty good. I mean, you can see some gaps. <laughs> I got to do a better, better job on the, uh, on the bracing. Got some gaps in there, but that's okay. Let's see. Pretty nice. I don't see any glue. This is very cool. I'm glad to be at this step. 
but I am looking uh, forward with a little bit of trepidation towards the next step, the binding. So I got to cut even farther into the side. But this is really cool to be at this point. I'm so glad that you stuck around and watched all this with me. With me, I guess I, I made it, but I'm so glad you stuck around and watched it by yourself. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.